Namaste everyone. When we are born, our parents are overjoyed, isn't it? Cleaning us up after toileting is not a choice for them. There is always a role reversal which happens in life. When our parents need same help from their children, their dignity gets hurt. When I was visiting one of an hospital, I got to see an immobile patient wanted to use the toilet. He had two daughters on his either side to take him up, place him on the wheelchair, take him to the toilet, again place him on the commode, wait until he defecates. The most important part comes here. Who is going inside to clean him up? When one of his daughter went inside, he broke down by saying, it's better to die rather than being a burden. This is not a story of a single patient. A small accident can make us completely dependent. According to WHO, 80 million people globally need wheelchair. I was thinking, as a biomedical engineer, what can I do for it? There are a lot of solutions which are already existing in the market. But soon, I found out nothing addressing the real pain point of cleaning their body after urination or defecation. And thus, Sahayata was born. Sahayata is the world's first wheelchair with inbuilt toilet and cleaning assistance to assist the immobile patients to clean their body by themselves. A big problem to be addressed. A solid solution. What's next? I wanted to start my own company. I went and approached various people, friends and family members. One comment which I was getting again and again was, there are a lot of wheelchair companies, big wheelchair players already existing in the market. As a small town girl from Coimbatore, what will you be able to do during the process, I met wonderful personality, icon of Coimbatore, late Dr. Krishna Kumarji, who took Ayurveda to WHO. He listened to me very patiently and replied, I trust in you. He assisted me with a working space, supported in registering the company, and name the company called Danmantri Biomedical. A big idea came up, Sahayata, how to convert this idea into reality. Went and pitched in various government grants, funding agencies, and we won several grants from BIRAC, Government of India, and DST, Department of Science and Technology, with the help of KIT TBI Odisha start a developing prototype. Being a biomedical engineer, I thought I won't be able to execute this alone. I need a team. As every girl's first hero, my father. Not only that, he also had an expertise in mechanical engineering and manufacturing. I onboarded him as my partner in my company. With the blessing of Krishna Kumarji, we both started on a mission in developing the idea into reality. Started developing a small, small prototypes. We failed. Started developing second. We failed. 10. Failed. 50th prototype. We failed. When we reached more than 50 prototypes, we started failing happily. We started accepting things. We got to know this is not the way to do it. 
we prepared a prototype and took it one to one of the hospital for the clinical validation and to get inputs from the doctors you know what happened we were not allowed inside the gate they said the prototype looked weird and huge we came back started developing more prototypes the level of prototype number reached 118 we took the 118th version for the clinical validation covid 19 red alert started lot of covid patients feeling very dizzy unable to walk till the toilets other side nursing care super busy in attending the emergency cases we thought why don't we deploy or provide one sahayata wheelchair near the bedside and that's how we completed our clinical validation clinical validation is done we wanted to check the market acceptance we went and participated in one of the expo in chennai and that's how my whole life changed you know i'm getting a call from my home dad is not well come back home 3 am at the morning i ran to the airport my first flight was at 8 am 5:30 am i'm getting a call dad is no more i completely got shattered i still remember me sitting down in the floor of an airport shouting like anything was not able to believe that dad went away all of a sudden you know i came back to office in 3 days after dad in 3 months i decided i'm going to launch this product sahayata my mentor dr ram kumar ji helped me to call all the eminent personality hospital owners and we launched the product sahayata immediately after 3 months and soon we also got an opportunity product sahayata was launched by honorable prime minister of india narendra modi ji under bayrak biotech program every day i used to get up with lot of hope a technical person wearing a new hat called sales going and pitching to various hospitals giving demonstrations giving samples thinking that i will make one sale for sure today nothing happened came with a empty hands i have my mom and brother to take and care of i have to pay my bills what do i do got an opportunity to showcase our product uh, in a shark tank reality investment show i thought we are in a very initial stage why do we apply for but my husband who insisted me to apply with the support of dr ram kumar ji the whole village came together for preparing myself for the shark tank investment show the show was in a hindi pitch so nitin ji from ssvm photographer videographer uh, the entire choreography team poonam serene ma'am and i remember when our intentions are good god is there to send us help in a some other form that's what happened to me and i got a deal out of there an investment of 1 crore for our company you know many opportunities opened up for me some opened the door some invited us inside some also gave us lot of commitment nothing worked out for us the journey of entrepreneurship is being very lonely and a very tiring process it's not same to do all sort of makeup come and present in a very nice suit it's not same 
It's a very hard, tiring journey. When I tell you, still now, we face lot of rejections, still we face lot of obstacles. They said, there is no need for such product. The product is too expensive. Will you be able to deliver the product? The obstacles are nothing but the stepping stones. Yes, we still figuring out few things in digital sales, showing an ad to 6 lakh people, 12,000 gets interested, out of which only one order gets converted. You know, it takes the entire team and the process. We are figuring out the CSR partners, strategic investors, as well as the physical team to be set up to take Sahayata to plan across and to each and corner of India. The journey so far has been so energetic and a wonderful process where we miss out few things to enjoy the process of an entrepreneurship. There can be a lot of struggles, but we really have to enjoy the process of rejection, acceptance and overcoming the obstacles maybe. So during the process, the one thing which we kept very, very uh, careful is talking to Sahayata users, to one whom we have provided our Sahayata wheelchair, where uh, Sahayata users were very happy, few were not, but we kept interacting just to know how far we can improve or how far we can make changes in the product. One of our Sahayata user who mentioned now I'm having more food after Sahayata wheelchair. I wondered why. I asked him, what happened? He said, after having his food, he urges to toilet. And at home, there is no one, everyone goes out for work. Now he is having Sahayata wheelchair beside him. A companion to assist him. These are some of the stories which motivates us, drives us forward. Our vision is to improve the quality of life and also to provide them a dignified life. Don't you think everyone in this world deserve to live their life with dignity? May it be a normal person? May it be an immobile person because of some accident, because of nature, because of some post-operation or some other medical condition, because he is an elderly. Everyone should live their life with dignity. Once our mentor said, passion, persistence, perseverance with prayers which is the mantra which we follow. I would like to highlight some of the failures to till date where we are. From an idea which was not allowed to the hospital gates, to the Sahayata helping hands of nursing care in several other hospitals. Failure of prototypes again and again till 118 with the patents, lot of Indian patents, PCT covering 140 other countries stating this is the world's first wheelchair with a cleaning system. What makes us drive forward? What positive impacts which has been created and the smile of the user who tell me Sahayata have changed my life. Now I'm able to live my life with dignity. These are some of the things which drives and pulls us forward whatever rejection or obstacles we have. There are days where I have only 900 rupees at the bank. All my team member left office with one of the team member uh, who is still with me and 
from the first she is there with me i have to pay my bills my brother is studying my i have to give to my mother today we do exports this is the change for being a passionate entrepreneur or a innovator who follows persistence with perseverance so thank you so much for the opportunity